Hello everyone, welcome to Random Fixes. So today we're going to take a look how to upgrade SSD and RAM for ThinkPad P1 or ThinkPad X1 Extreme. Now this process in the video is going to be much simpler than the Dell one that I made over a year ago. Now without further ado, let's get started. Okay, before I pop the hood, I have to give Lenovo a big thumb up. They managed to cramp a 45 watt i7 processor and a Quadro P1000 or P2000 or GTX 1050Ti in this thin and light chassis, yet they still made it extremely user serviceable. And I think every manufacturer should do this instead of glue everything together. And yes, I'm talking to you, Microsoft. Another piece of information is that swapping the customer replaceable unit, such as the hard drive or the RAM in this case, will not void the warranty. But just be careful, since any damage caused by this process is not covered by warranty. But anyways, you should always check the warranty policy before you start. Alright, so to get into the ThinkPad P1, all you need to do is to undo the 7 screws at the bottom of the machine. And you don't even need to worry about where to put those screws, since all of them are just held by clips to the bottom panel. Now after you get all of the screws loose, just pull from the vent to get some clip loose, lift the bottom panel like clamshell, and the panel should be removed with no problem. Okay, so inside of this machine, we got two M.2 NVMe hard drive here. I've already replaced the factory one with the Samsung 970 EVO, and let's say you want to replace the factory hard drive, you just need to undo the screws that held this hard drive in place and give it a little wiggle to set it loose from the thermal pad that helps conduct heat from the hard drive. And after that, just pull that out and swap a new one that you want to install. For installing, the notch of the drive needs to sit flush against a mounting hole to ensure secure and good contact, and put the screw back on and you're good to go. Now follow the same step for the secondary hard drive, but in this case, you need to find an M.2 screw that can fit here. Lenovo does not include one with the machine from the factory. And it is really simple to upgrade the RAM too, since the machine uses standard sodium form factor. You just need to pull the clips up on both sides apart and the RAM should pop automatically. To install, align the notch with the plastic bump part on the slot and push it down it should clip in with no problem. Now since I'm keeping my old RAM, I just need to put a new one in. To get the best performance out of your machine, you put the RAM with the same frequency into both the slots. Now in this case, I'm using DDR4 2666 MHz. Now after you're done with all of these steps, just screw on the back cover and you're good to go. And again, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you got any questions or comments, leave it down below. And I'll catch you guys later.